from here we go to Russia. We have Dr. Abdul Rahman Azharani. He is resident of uh, Professor Albert Sofyanov. He is uh, practicing at the Federal Center of Neurosurgery at Tayumen. He will be giving an overview about the education in the Federal Center of uh, Neurosurgery in Tayumen. Uh, welcome, Dr. Abdul Rahman. Thank you, yeah. thank you, Hera. Thank you. Good afternoon uh, for everybody. Now we are talking now from Moscow. Oh, from sorry, from Russia, Tayumen. Uh, uh, my name is Dr. Abdurrahman Al Zahrani. I'm doing my uh, training under uh, supervision of Professor Albert Sabino. Um, now we will start our presentation about Federal Center of Neurosurgery. So, okay. Uh, actually, the Federal Center of Neurosurgery uh, in, uh, in Tiumen was uh, built in the framework of the national project of public health of Russia. And uh, that was uh, at 2011. Uh, uh, after that, actually, uh, Professor Albert Savinov, he had developed a bit more to high-tech surgeries and was conducted in the center for patients uh, in, and it's accommodated patients for uh, more than 80 regions of Russia. Uh, and other countries, international countries. Um, now you can see the pictures. Now the prime minister, the, the prime minister is visiting our center, and also the government sectors. Uh, see, they are care, taking care of our center as well. Uh, in our center, we have 95 beds, uh, and this is just divided to several sections or several, several units. One is uh, functional neurosurgery, and uh, we have for functional neurosurgery 20 beds. And also we have neuro-oncology department, uh, we have for that 20 beds. And we have uh, uh, spinal neurosurgery, uh, and we have for that also 20 beds. And we have cerebrovascular neurosurgery, and we have for that as well 20 beds. And pediatric surgery, and we have for that 15 beds. Um, beside this, we have our own independent uh, neurosurgical uh, intensive care unit, and for this we have 12 beds. Uh, surgical units, uh, we have seven operation rooms, including one X-ray and geography system. Um, we use also very high-tech, very high-tech uh, equipment. Uh, intraoperative CT, OR, and angiographic system. This is also intraoperatively used. Uh, microscopes, we have high qualities and the best qualities, Carl size. Uh, Benetro, also, uh, Benetro, we have also uh, 3D cameras, intraoperatively can be used, navigation, uh, as well as we have brain lab, endoscopic uh, standards, uh, stand source, and the scolab. Uh, we have, I have, uh, we have, sorry, okay. We have intellectual hybrid operating room with full contra uh, control, uh, which can be used more for uh, more the, 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 the uh, tumor cases and uh, can be also uh, screened during the operation. In our center, actually, we have established first to do some not easy cases, actually, like road uh, babiloma, third ventricle, uh, ventricle uh, and also can be used endoscopical um, uh, removal for choroid babiloma. And also that we have uh, this is our patients pre-op and post-op. This actually was first uh, uh, done some studies for that and uh, cover of the leading now of journal, uh, journals of pediatric was in 2013, uh, 2015, uh, shows the steps of our uh, neurosurgical department. Uh, we have performed uh, such cases and uh, it was taking the steps of the whole neurosurgical step 
this was the professor albert sofinov post who was operating the also uh intrapetal uh, so sorry uh, fetal uh, uh, hydrocephalus was also done and this usually will make it possible to carry, to carry the baby fall term Actually, our department is uh, belong to Sushinap University since November 2016. Uh, and it is it became the clinical base for academic department of neurosurgery of Sushinap University in uh, Moscow. As we know, also the uh, strong clinical base make usual uh, successful of neurosurgeons. So for this but we have practical training in academic department of neurosurgery. This was including uh, simulations laboratories, which help, can help for developing the skills of the new residents. And uh, we have also uh, using the cadaver laboratory. Uh, during that, we can see also the anatomical studies and microsurgical and endoscopic approaches with uh, hands-on training. Uh, we have also full body cadaver laboratory. Uh, we can use for that one uh, also microscope and endoscopical approaches can be done. Uh, hand-on training on a spinal, a spine and peripheral nerve and vascular system as well. And we have uh, veterinary, veterinary laboratories used also for that by, by using rats and uh, this will you this is usually used to improve the skills for microsurgical anastomosis uh, as well that we have three dimension life surgeries usually done under uh, audio and live stream we have our independent section also for photo and video laboratory and we are using also the uh, simulators for surgeries, as you can see in this picture. Uh, we have actually participated in a lot of publications and uh, native illustrated handbooks. As we can see, this is all under supervision and uh, uh, of Professor Albert Sofianov as we can see it here in this picture. This is our uh, microsurgical laboratory. We have around 12 microscope and we have also uh, some cadavers. We, we are processing for long time uh, courses of skull based surgery and uh, also endoscopic surgeries and spinal surgeries as well. This was, this is usually under the guidance of high uh, professors. I, they used to come from outside Russia, America, India, Nepal, Pakistan, from so many areas, like Germany. As we can see also in this picture now, our uh, skull based course was, uh, one of our guests was Professor Bar Barba from Brazil and Professor Vinko Dillons and uh, so many professors actually used to come to share our success in our uh, skull based courses and endoscopic courses as well. And this is for the full body cadaver laboratory used to for dissection table and video and also the uh, C arm can be used during the dissections and endoscope and macroscope as well. So it is a fully equipped room. We can be used that for full, full body cadaver laboratory. Uh, now we have also courses for spinal surgery for, and special, uh, we are more, mostly specialized for the craniovertebral junction areas. We invite professors from outside the country as we can see in the spectre here. This is the trainees used to come for pathology laboratory also for the full body, as we have mentioned before. 
This is the section for rats for max microanastomosis. Actually, in our operation rooms, we use very high-tech equipmentation and instrumentations, as well as you can see here in this picture. And uh, three-dimension uh, courses, we can see it by three-dimension ways and two-dimension as well. Uh, this, uh, the, the, actually, our course is, is worldwide known now under the supervision uh, of Professor Albert Sofianov, and also we used to have some good combination for that with when Professor Ar Barba or other colleagues come to our center here for presentations. This is our trainees. In the bit, this is our uh, lab, uh, laboratory, and our professor Albert Shefinov is uh, the leading one for uh, micro dissection areas. Now, actually, our neurosurgical center became one of uh, the international societies. Uh, we have shared in 30 three international conference with educational courses are also have been conducted. More than 93, uh, 930 doctors was also from 31 countries have been trained here. As we have mentioned, actually, this department is belong clinically for, uh, academically for uh, session of university, which is located in Moscow. And it is one of the best universities here in, uh, in uh, Russia, uh, recognized internationally as well. So this is our uh, trainees come for the courses, after courses, and uh, they have some lectures with Professor Albert Sofinov and the guests as well. They used to, uh, to have a certification after uh, courses. This is our guests. Also, now we have some training courses for the macrovascular and uh, endoscopy and uh, aneurysmal regions. We can do also some training for that here. This is our address and all what we what might be somebody need to know about the center. So this is our our contact numbers, telephones and uh, our uh, website and also Viber, WhatsApp. So it is very easy to contact our department here. Head of the department is Professor Albert Sofianov. Now we have our international education course for minimally invasive neurosurgery. Usually yearly can be done between November and uh, this is our coming course, will be after two weeks, around or less than two weeks. So we are all coming all for visit and for having this enjoyment for the, for the training here. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Abdurrahman from Germany again. Thank you so much, Dr. Abdurrahman. That was a wonderful introduction about the Russian Center for Tyumen. Um, I suppose you have a uh, you have a lot of audience from Russia at the moment. Yes, yes, actually, it is uh, belong to Moscow area. First, if somebody want to study here, he should apply first to Moscow, and from yeah. Moscow they will uh, send to to me area. Okay, okay, that was a wonderful presentation. Thank you. We have one of your residents. I think Ibrahim is with us. So he would like to share any of his experiences. Ibrahim is here. Hi, hi Ibrahim. Hi, hi, how are you? How are you? Hi. I'm good. Please introduce yourself and tell us about your experience at Tayumin. Uh, this, uh, that's, here is good. I'm I'm so happy. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, uh, it, it is indeed one of the most, uh, uh, we have had uh, uh, faculties going from Pakistan as well to Thailand. I've always heard best about this. I hope to come to you guys sometime. Yeah.